Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain how to use the fantastic Google Frisian tables. First of all, you have to know that if you want to make a very good table, you must have some knowledge of programming, but it's secondary, so for this tutorial, just watch. Well, if you have a Gmail account, go directly, directly to it, but if you don't, make one. Once you are in Gmail, click on Docs, this button. And then create a table. You have got a window like this. So, um, <coughs> before all of this, I recommend you to have an Excel doc with your info in this way. Okay, you see it? In the first row, write all the headers you want. It has to be, uh, in my case, Error species, which are URL adult, URL CP lateral, sex, host plant species, host plant family, gerard date, etc. In in this Excel doc, if you want, well, we see later. Mm -hmm. In the first row, right, yes, like I said, this the headers, and in the following rows, right the name of that uh, all the aspects in that you want to have your your table if you want to include photographs copy and paste the URL uh, uh, in its column header header column so header, header header column when you have finished your Excel doc it must be something like that and click on this button if your English it's choose file button and select it open and next sliding and okay this is our table okay don't change anything next here put your the, your table name your options if you want to export it uh, attribute style and finish here this is our table okay yeah I, you must be you might be thinking what's that it's so ugly okay but if you want to make it more beautiful yeah so edit modify columns and in the column you have your URL photographs in my case URL out and URL CP lateral click on that and format for line image in these two then save and now some security errors and yeah that's it the photos of a lot of butterflies yeah okay they're very truthful right well uh, if the thing that I mentioned before is that if you want to visualize this table on a map like this with his points okay in your excel doc you have to write the latitude and long on longitude like this it's like a gps separate with commas everything has to be separate with commas because if it don't doesn't it hasn't be recognized it isn't recognized by the the fusion table. Okay, so write the latitude and the longitude, and then uh, you've got this. Okay, map with everything. Okay, this is in. Okay, wait, wait. Near Costa Rica. In. Libera, I think. 
Okay, so it's another map. Okay, but if you want to 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 make it more customized, go to configure custom and write here the what you want to to have the the, the map so elevation the declosion this it's so like I said you have to to have some knowledge of programming but if you don't don't worry don't change anything this is okay it's a very good map so yeah that's it this is a quick way for making a fusion table it's very simple the most difficult way is make this the excel doc um, it has been all goodbye everyone and see you later